happy Labor Day, you guys. I'm looking rough. <laughs> We're gonna put in some labor. We labor are. Day. <clears throat> we are getting ready to put in some labor today. We own a rental house and because the market is doing so well, we're just kind of wanting to unload it and get it sold, but we have to go and do a bunch of demo to it. Sorry, Daniel's trying to drive as I got this camera in his face. <clears throat> so yeah, we got to do a bunch of demo to it, but I'm really excited because Daniel has great plans for like new flooring and backsplash and granite countertops and I know it's gonna be like so cute when it's done that I'm gonna be like oh <laughs> it's way too small for us to live in it with our family though anyways I mean, it's still a three bedroom it's two a, bedroom yeah I mean it's a nice house but it's like a first-time home buyer it's an investment property which for is sure fine but we can liquidate right now because the market's so hot and I have theories that the market will drop yeah. Before too long. I so don't we're know the exact number, but we're wanting to like get this gone, and then you guys, what's exciting is that'll put us like to where we can pay off our current home that we're in. So that's our goal. That's gonna be on our vision board for this this coming year is having a paid off home, and we're liquid with everything else. Just our home, we have a payment on. So. We, we got to do a lot of yard work here. This is looking pretty overgrown, but that'll be easy enough. Get some mulch down in here. Get it to where you can see these landscaping rocks again. That'll look good. The shutters kind of need to be painted too. There was Christmas lights on these bushes. There was Christmas lights. The garage, though, I do like how he painted it. Yeah, he painted the garage. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> okay. It's not bad. No, so the plan is we're going to come in here with a really light gray, do all like new light gray flooring. All the woods. You know, like everybody does. Yeah, like everybody does. But this, it's just a really small area down here. So we need to do whatever we can to brighten all this up. I'm going to come in and paint these cabinets white. Um, this back wall obviously is super dark. So we just got to make this look as big as we possibly can in here. Is that my original fridge? Yeah. Man, that... just throw it away. No, man, I want that for our house. All right, we're going to go upstairs here. So all this carpet we're gonna redo. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, we'll redo the little loft area. Okay, up here looks pretty good, honestly. This doesn't look too bad up here. You, babe, do you want me to paint these cabinets in here too? You probably should. Let's do those first and see how we're okay. progressing. I mean, this should all be pretty simple up here. Yeah, this is all in pretty good shape. So. Yep, we'll, uh, we'll just take care of. Yeah, all the doors and stuff up here look great. That won't be that difficult. Yeah, it just it needs, it's just a little bit dirty. I mean, what I'm gonna do is the carpet, I'm gonna like cut this in half and then roll them up. Okay. So all the, the shit that's on the floor will just roll up into there. This needs some serious work. What, oh my gosh. Okay, so holy shit, there's a couple holes in the wall. 
Daniel's doing the first start of demo. though okay because these these like remember what mama was telling you when you roll them you can kind of smush fingers it is not fun at all is it these water bowls let me get some okay so let me show you guys so far um obviously you guys there's some before and after here of the house so we went ahead and cleaned up the um landscaping which wasn't too difficult I mean it was really overgrown but Daniel came in and just got all the shrubs back to the size they should be and then um, this took about 19 bags of mulch here because I went pretty heavy on it um, and then these landscaping rocks I actually got at my dad's property at Lost Creek and these have been here since I moved in <laughs> so I kind of had to dig those out of the yard and put them back up and then this is my favorite thing because the front of this house is just really plain um I mean it's just kind of ugly <laughs> you know there's nothing to the front of it to always put flowers and window boxes it just offered it so much so look at how cute this is got all my beautiful flowers Plant it in there. Here it is. We've ripped up all these floors. Um, Daniel took all the cabinets off. So I'm going to start sanding these down, guys. Pray for me. I've watched a lot of tutorials. Um, so we'll see how they turn out. Um, my stepdad actually is a painter by trade. So he was giving me a lot of tips. He's like, you got this. You can do it. Um, yeah. And then we're going to come in with agreeable gray, y'all. Everybody's favorite gray. And knock out these walls. It's going to be so cute. I cannot wait. Wait to see it um, when it's done. Oh, be careful, girly goo. Be careful. My, my flowers, guys, aren't those so cute? Mommy, that's so pretty. I know. Did you help Mama plant those? Mommy, my don't go. Oh, really? Mama, she can't eat that, but the not eat it. Are they growing? Mama, Mama can see that. Mama can see that. Yeah. I'm really surprised. This, this lavinette has been here. Um, so I got the house, what, 10, uh, 11 years ago? almost 12 years ago this is original and it's held up really nice so i'm just gonna clean it real good but we're just gonna keep it um if they if the new owners eventually want to do granite they can but i figure it's in great shape so i'm not concerned these right here guys if you have rental properties or you have doggies and sometimes you get that dog smell in your house you know no matter how much you clean sometimes it just happens this thing is so freaking cool. This is a air ionizer. And um, Daniel uses these in his rental properties, but it just, you know, it just like takes the smell. I, I don't know exactly how it works. Those of you that do can like comment down below. But they run these in like hospitals and stuff just to like clean the air. Like something it, something it does that like kills the bacteria and you'll notice a huge difference. It just um 
It takes all that like pet smell or if you've had renters that smoke in their home, which I don't know who the hell smokes anymore these days, but it just takes all that smell out. So we've been running this a couple times. You don't wanna run this when you're in the house. You definitely want all your pets, kids, humans, any, any living creature, you want them out of the house when you run this. But I set it for like an hour and it's already made such a huge difference in here. First thing we're gonna do is sand these down. And y'all, I know I'm not gonna look like a professional doing this, so don't judge me. Can I kind of stuff these up a little bit? I'm sure those of you that have husbands or that are contractors yourself, you're probably like, well, you know. But it's scuffing it up, it's taking that little white varnish off of it, so that's all I needed to do. Yeah, so I just got bear paint at um, Home Depot, and it's, what is it called? It's like, I got like ultra white is what it was. So like, I mean, this this is white, white. Um, and then my stepdad told me, have them add two drops of black to whatever white paint you get. And I was like, what? That sounds bizarre. but. He said you can't notice it like to the human eye, but it makes everything, I guess, go on like smoother or look smoother. I don't know, my mom will probably watch this. So mom, put down in the comments below what adding two drops of black does. <laughs> but Roy told me to do it, so that is what I did. All right guys, let's get into this paint. Even adding the two drops of black in there, you can't really tell. That is some white paint, y'all. Okay. And I also realized that with a brush, you're gonna see these like brush strokes. Um, but I'm just doing the first coat with a brush just to get the edging. And then I'm going to go over it with uh, this like sponge roller. So yeah, so it looks a little better. So you can't see the brush strokes. how these cabinets are turning out that I'm totally going to paint our cabinets at our house now. I was really nervous about doing that because everybody's like, it's so, it's such a like tedious thing. And it is, it is very time consuming. I've been here all day. I went back home, dropped the kids off, and now my bo bonus kids are home, so they're watching them. Daniel ran to get a haircut, but he recently came and um, took off the countertop, we're gonna do granite, and I've just been hitting all these cabinets up, but like, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how it's covering and looking. Um, these ones over here are on our first coat, but these are done, so I'm just gonna let them dry, and then tomorrow hit up the inside of them. Honestly, I was like, <gasps> When I walked in, I seen this black wall because this is a very small area. I was like, oh wow. <laughs> but honestly, if you were to do a black wall in your kitchen with white cabinets, it would probably look freaking awesome. Um, but clearly, we're not gonna keep the black wall. But in another house that's bigger, I think a black accent wall in a kitchen with white cabinets and like a white subway tile backsplash would probably look freaking awesome. 